Hi folks, my name is Lynn Bailey. I'm the occupational therapist with Avery County Schools. I just wanted to say hello to any of you kids that I actually know. And I'm going to go over today uh, three good review activities for learning your alphabet and your numbers. And these are games that when I use them with kids, they always beg me to do these activities again. And so I think it'll be something that they enjoy and um, it's a great review for them. So the first game that I have, I've just taken a piece of blank paper and I've made circles to make a game board, just like you can see in the picture. And I, I call this the hungry caterpillar game or uh, you can make it a snake or you can give it whatever nickname you want. Um, what we do then in the circles is I put letters that that particular child needs to work on making. So let's say, for instance, you're working on writing the letters in your name. You can put the letters of the child's name in every single space, um, writing it over and over. So as they roll the dice and play the game, they can continue to work on the letters that they need to know. Um, other ways that I've done this game is I've written all lowercase letters or all uppercase letters, or as we're working on work, and I notice that there are letters that a child really needs to work on, um, I'll only use those letters. So for instance, in the pictures, and I'm sorry that they're reversed, but I used letters um, like G, Q, D, M, N, H. Some of those are letters that children often have trouble with. So the way we play this game is after you've made the board so that it's custom for whatever your child needs to work on, um, you just find two game pieces to be the markers. They can be from a different game. These are two erasers that I keep in my kit. Um, they could be two different colored buttons if you have spare buttons around. Um, and so because Bear is the youngest, I'm gonna let Bear go first. Bear's gonna roll the dice here. So Bear is the apple. He's gonna move five, one, two, three, four, five. He landed on a G. So I'm gonna show Bear how to make a G. C, up, down, turn, and then it would be Bear's turn to make a G after watching me do it. Um, and so we would continue this taking turns through the game. Uh, the second game that kids really like to play, if you just get two dice from maybe another game kit, uh, the child is gonna roll the dice and then count the numbers on the dice, write the numbers in the squares, and then if they need to actually count the dots or if they can remember, uh, then they're gonna write the total in the total box. And I'm gonna hold this up so you can see what it is. You can do that for addition, you can do it for subtraction, um, but kids really enjoy this game. Um, I would try and work on some type of writing games for maybe five minutes a day. Um, or play through one of the game boards. And uh, children really like it for that length of time. Okay, the third game I'm gonna go through is these are uppercase and lowercase letters. These are drawn on owls, and I printed that off of the internet. But you can just take a sheet of paper and cut it into squares and put your alphabet letters upper case and lowercase to make your own set. Um, then what I do is I'll lay the cards out, let the child match uppercase and lowercase. We'll talk about the sounds that the letter makes um, as we're matching them. And then I'll show the child how to make the letter and then give them a chance to practice. Um, and this type of supervised practice helps them learn their alphabet um, much faster than some other ways uh, and it kind of helps review a lot of concepts all at once. 
So I hope that these games are ones that you feel like you could make at home, and I hope your child enjoys playing them. Thank you so much. So I said um way too many times, but I don't really care. <laughs> you think it was all right? Yeah, especially since you're not really used to teaching multiple at a time. Right. So it says I hit stop recording. Yeah. So what do I do with this now? So you got my recording. Where is that? Um Go at the bottom. I would have to look at it. I'm here. Just one second. Give me just one second. It says it's still recording, but it says paused. So do I turn it off?